Hey guys, what's going on? Mash GFX here, and today I'm going to be going over another Photoshop tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to create this very basic but sweet tear effect here. So let's go ahead and get started. Once we have our original image open, what we're going to do is create a new layer, and then we're going to head over to our pen tool. Now once our pen tool is selected, we want to make sure we have our paths option selected. And what they will basically do is, as we go along here and click to make our points, the paths option will allow you to click and make points, and it will not fill them in as you go. So we're going to start off here with the top right hand corner of our image, because uh, this is where I want my first hair to go. So we're going to do is click to make our first point, and then we're going to head over to the right side of the image and click to make another point. But instead of letting go of the mouse button, we're going to continue holding it down and then drag off in a diagonal direction so we get a nice little arc there. Now the purpose of putting uh, a curve on this is so that we actually get a more realistic effect instead of just a straight line. And once you have that done, we just click and fill in the rest of our points and then connect the dots like so. Once you have this done, we're going to right click and head over to fill path. And under your use, you can pretty much select any color that you want. Uh, it will not matter because uh, further down the road, we're not going to be looking at the colors. So I'm just going to select black for now. And then hit enter to get rid of the outline. Alright, now the, what we're going to do from here is over to our eraser tool. We're going to right click. And we're going to make sure we have our rough round bristle brush selected. Oh, there's a tongue twister for you. Uh, what we're going to do is have this brush selected. Now it does come stock with Photoshop. And once you have this brush selected, I'm going to bump up my size here to about 135 pixels. And what this brush is going to allow us to do is if we zoom in here so you can get a better look at this, I'm going to click to make some strokes here. And as you can see, what it's doing is basically creating a very cool tear effect like so. Now you only want to do it around the edges of where you want the tear to go. Once you have that done, we're going to head over to our elliptical tool. We're going to right click and we're going to head over to load selection and then click OK. Now what this is basically allowing you to do is it will create a selection of the, uh, the new shape that we created. So once we have that done, we're going to hide our shape layer. We're going to click on our original image and then we're going to hit delete like so and then we can deselect that. Now you're not really going to be able to tell a difference right here until we add a backdrop to it. So we're going to do is start on the other side here and do one more example. So again we're going to create another new layer. We're going to head back to our pen tool making sure our paths option is selected. This time we're going to click to make our point on the left side and we want it going downward uh, at a left angle. So we're going to click to make our second point here and then just create our little arc and then connect the points like so again we're going to right click head over to fill path I'm going to select black and then click OK and then hit enter to grab the outline once again we're going to head back to our eraser tool and we're just going to click here along the outlines and just get pretty much an uneven look because remember a tear is not even so you could even do for example uh, you could do a little uh, tear offs here you could pull off towards the screen or even go towards in just to get variations of looks like so. Once you have that done we're gonna again head back to our rectangle tool right click head over to load selection hit OK and then we can hide our layer make sure we have our original image selected and then hit delete and then we can deselect this and zoom back out. Now in order to see your final product what we're gonna do is create another new layer we're going to drag this layer under our image and you can pretty much fill this in with any solid color that you like uh, for me I'm going to using a gradient and then just go ahead and throw a gradient in the back and as you can see we got a nice little tear effect there now one thing that I did to help bring it out a little bit more is I added an outline on it so that it looked as if we had a drop shadow so in order to do this I'm going to double click on my original image and once I have my blending options open I'm going to head over to an outer glow. We're, once we have our outer glow selected, we're going to select our blend mode as normal. For our color, we're going to be selecting black. And once we have this done, we're going to mess around with our spread and size. Like so. Until we get a decent look. 
like that. And if we zoom back out here, you can see we get a nice little tear effect there. Very realistic for how little much time it takes. But again, like I said, this is something fun that you guys can try. Just something new and different. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please remember to rate this video. Thumbs up, thumbs down, whatever you think it deserves. But other than that, guys, take it easy.